tumepelekwa yani tumepelekwa mahali hata familia haijui <laughs> Mungu wangu so the auntie ametu release walikuwa pamoja na familia yake wameturilize tumeenda wana release na mjiko wajui mm. kwenye watoto wanapelekwa yeah, bora tu waende wakasaidia na wakachinjwa <laughs> sasa hawa watoto ni wa Mungu ah waende tu she is clothed with strength and dignity she can laugh at the days to come that very bible verse summarizes the story of an incredible woman in our weekly dose of hope with me helen mudani karibu And now we are joined by our guest today. Thank you so much for being with us on this week. Remember that this show has been proudly sponsored by Egemeo Academy Studios and also Jimmy Barbers who have done my hair and also makeup. And now our guest for this show. Whew, she's here. Bona yesu asifiwe. Amen. Karibu sana. Asante. Thank you for being on time yes. and being so early. Thank you. Ndio ni mbali but ume make it hapa. Mm. Sasa na ningependa uambie people who you are, your name, umeokoka, umetoka wapi? Ndio wanasema ni umetoka mbali, mm. hawajui mbali ni wapi. <laughs> sawa sawa. Yes, your camera. So my name is Selina Wanjiku, Wanjiro, Mwangi, um, born again, uh, I'm a teacher, a pastor and a mother. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Kabisa. Hiyo mother yeah. nasikianga hiyo ndio yeah. the highest calling. It's a mchezo. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's a beautiful si mchezo. It's a beautiful one uh-huh. because it's a privilege and mm. it's a blessing to be called a mother. Amen. Yes. Umetoka Gilgil. Nimetoka Gilgil. Leo hii. Leo hii asubuhi. Wow. Yeah. Jesus is Lord. Thank Amen. you so much. Thank you. Sasa Wanjiko. Yes. Eh, uh-huh. who is Wanjiko? Mm. How was your upbringing like and why should we give these people hope through your story? So uh, I was born in a place called Kasambara. Mm-hmm. It is just in Akuru County, okay. Gilgil sub county. Uh-huh. But most people call it uh, call that place Sugunoi. Uh-huh. So that is the most famous place uh-huh. in Baru Baru uh-huh. sub county and uh, that is Baru ward uh-huh. and uh, by a woman mm. called the, that is the late Teles- Teresia Wanjiro. Uh-huh. And uh, uh-huh. Tulikuwa tu kama watoto wengine. How many were you? We were four. Four of you. And you are number? I'm number two. Aha. Uh-huh. So I found four. Mm-hmm. We we are four. Mm-hmm. But tunaambia kwamba we had a first born. Mm-hmm. But for me si kumpata. Ah. But all our family members wanamjua anaitwa Wairimo. Uh-huh. So I'm I'm the third born, but me huwa najiita second born because the first born is there yeah. according to us. Mm-hmm. And uh tulikuwa tu kama watoto wengine very humble because i won't call it poor and uh, tukaenda shule kama watoto wengine although i went to school late mm-hmm. that is at the age of nine mm-hmm. because i was so sick yes what M- my legs uh-huh. nilikuwa na vidonda zingine but uh-huh. i always zishkanisha na umaskini uh-huh. because always yellow ilikuwa shida gani yeah. so nikagonjeka I, w- i could not go to school napeleka hospitali una pop in killers haziponi vidonda zinafanya mtoto anaini aziona crawl oh my god and then hata kubeba ule mtoto inakuwa ni shida yes. so umshike hivi because vidonda zimejaa miguu eh miguu yote ime imegonjeka tu na ni vitu zinatoa usa uh-huh. but luckily kuna where my grandfather was working alikuwa anafanya na Delamea uh-huh. na watu wa Delamea and then akaongea na bibi ya Tom Chomli uh-huh. akampea shida ya mjukuu wake yes the woman akamwambia kuna dawa ya kienyeji when i went there alitupea dawa mm-hmm. dawa ya chupa fulani hapo ya kuosha mm-hmm. na ya kupaka and that is how i was completely healed what e, kuosha tu na kupaka uh-huh. nikapona na after kupona my mama akaona hii mtu sasa anaenda shule yes 1999 that time uh-huh. akasema mtoto sasa anaenda shule wow. nikaenda shule nikaingia top class mm-hmm. by that time it was top class mm-hmm. na kuingia kaenda kufanya interviews mtoto akakuwa namba 2 wa position 2 akaingia class 1 and that is how i started mwenye hata hakuwa naenda shule hakuenda shule hakuikanyanga shule na kwa tangu kuingia hapo that is in kasambara primary yes. nili top all through wow you position are a smart one. child i thank god for that wacha turudi hapa kwa first mm. born mm. kwani first what happened i feel like there's a story there <laughs> what happened there is a story <laughs> kwa sababu i think she died a mysterious death uh-huh. 
So by then wakati yenye alikuwa nakufa uh-huh. hatukwa tumejijua especially ah. mimi sikuwa nimejijua so I can't even remember her face okay but kwetu tutasikia tu kulikuwa na wairimo uh-huh. eh, kulikuwa na wairimo right. she died that way okay and uh, yes ni Mungu <laughs> eh, ni ya Mungu yote ni Mungu. Eh. Aya, sasa umemaliza shule N- ene ni sasa nikiwa class 7 okay. tulitoka ushagu so unaona mama amepasi nikiwa class 3 what so nikiwa class 3 our first born sasa the, the second born now current uh-huh. first born mwenye sasa ako yes. akiwa class 4 aha uh-huh. hawa wengine wote hawawili hawajaingia shule aha uh-huh. so she passed on on that is 202 what happened mm alikuwa ameenda kutembea kwa grandmother and then issues happened akapas I think it's a story I won't. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Eh. Mm-hmm. Akapas na kazikwa but struggles zili continue from there. Sitasema ndio zilianza, zili continue na zikakuwa worse from there mm-hmm. because we had to remain now with the grandfather. Tukae na grandfather, anafanya vibarua, akakuwa sasa ameshafika wakati wa kuretire. Mm-hmm. So ni vibarua, yeye afanye vibarua, sisi tufanye vibarua. Nilianza kwenda vibarua nikiwa hiyo class 3. Unaenda unapimiwa mafuti mafuti like where to farm where to farm where to dig yani eh, uh-huh. and by then you can imagine mtu alikuwa analipo 70 70 bob aha uh-huh. i think ikarudi kapanda ikafika 80 bob na siku si mafuti ya hapo hapo area yeah. ni mafuti ya place inaitwa ngorika another place called in Yaitoga. so when you are in kasambara uh-huh. that is along nakuru highway utaiona ni, ni karibu tu na highway uh-huh. basi sasa lazima upande milima Where? mahali tu milima tu uh-huh. eh so unaenda una, una, na nikutafuta si mahali ya tunamko unajua unaenda kazi no. so ni mahali unaenda unagonga mama kuna nani kazi. kuna kazi hapana kuna kazi na, na utazi unaweza zunguka hadi saa nne ukitafuta kazi so pengine tulitoka saa kumi saa kumi na moja nyumbani so mnaenda tu mkiuliza kazi mahali na mnasonga tu mahali tu mtapata kazi that is where you are going to work na unasoma saa ngapi utasoma tu so shule hatukwa tunakosa kwenda uh-huh. mostly ilikuwa ni saturdays na holidays uh-huh. e, so hakuna wakati ati tulikuwa tunakosa shule ati ndio twende vibarua na sasa shosho wako e, wapi shosho alipas so it's only your grandfather peke yake sasa e, my grandfather dia alikuwa although now he's late also hey, hey. <laughs> all right na sasa nyinyi <laughs> are you all girls ama your girls and boys i have one, you... one brother mm-hmm. so tulikuwa Tulibaki mimi sister yangu that is yule mkubwa na brother yangu uh-huh. plus my two cousins wa another aunt na yali pass Where? so we were five in the process our first born akaondolewa na one of my aunts uh-huh. our last born sister immediately after mama me pass there is one of my uncle and aunt sister ya mama sasa uh-huh. wao ndio walichukua ka last born You know kalikuwa kadogo. Sana. Eh, mm-hmm. so tukabaki that is mimi, brother yangu na sister yangu mm-hmm. plus the two cousins. So in the house we were five. Plus you know the grandfather. <laughs> Where? Uh-huh. Eh, and then so after tumebaki hivyo ni struggle up, kutoka class 3 to class 7. So hizi mambo zote za ku, za kuondolewa ushago zilikuwa class 7. But before tuondolewe kuna mzungu there is a hospital huko kwetu ushago inaitwa Rainvari. Mm-hmm. Mzungu wa huko watu wa hiyo village yetu ni wazuri sana. Mm-hmm. Walikuwa nakia sana kwa wakijua boma zenye ziko na watu wako na shida. Yes. Because hata tukiwa tu hapo I think ule mu Switzerland akataka kusaidia watu. Uh-huh. And one of the people there akawaambia kuna familia unaweza saidia. Yes. So alikuja aka uh, kama sasa alituchukua uh-huh. basi sasa akaidentify mimi na brother yangu. Mm, sorry because the sister ule mkubwa alikuwa shaondolewa. Yes. Tukafika uh, akatuchukua the siblings the cousins wakabaki uh-huh. but sasa kufika pale akatushoneshea uniform nini and then sasa akasema badala ya kwenda akibarua huko kwa mm. milima mm-hmm. so he'll be going in the hospital mm-hmm. na saidiana hapo kuota the flowers ama class 7 girls saizo mm-hmm. na water flowers nini nini and then jioni natoka na na food alikuwa ameongea na the management mm-hmm. so kuna shopping tulikuwa tumefanyiwa ah ila shopping kwa sababu sasa hatuwezi pewa yote yes maybe tuta misuse of ah. course tunge misuse yeah. tujazoea tujazoea <laughs> mayai dozen moja tujazoea kila kitu mingi mingi yes. hivyo so nilikuwa nikitoka hiyo saturday napewa shopping yenye itatutosha a week ah. 
Aha. So at least life imeanza kukua wow. easy oh my God. kwa sababu sasa hakuna kwenda kulima. Yes. So naenda tu na water flowers and then sasa after wameona na water flowers vizuri mm-hmm. nikaingiana na wale wa mama so tungeingia tuoshe ningewapikia lunch hiyo mm-hmm. Saturday. Tunafanya tu kazi and then kitu saa nane hivi natoka ama yes. saa tisa uh-huh. natoka naenda nyumbani. Basi unaona ni vizuri kwa sababu nimeenda na food yes. ya wiki mzima. Yes. So ulikuwa unalipa basically na shopping. Ni shopping hakuna pesa. Wow. Mtoto aguzi pesa uh-huh. but ni better. Yes. Kuliko kwenda ile mafuti unakuja na pengine viazi debe mzima mm-hmm. kwa sababu mwingine hana pesa. Yes. Zile viazi hamtakula peke yake. True. Ha, pengine upewe via, mahindi mahindi utakula peke yake. 70 bob hazitatosha. So this one ya, ya hospitali ilikuwa good. Wow. Yes. So Mungu akaanza kuonekana hiyo tena. sasa alianza kuonekana pole pole tu. Yes. Ukaanza kukua na ka breakthrough kidogo. Uh-huh. And then sasa ikafika mahali serikali ikaanza kusema ati wanaandikisha the the needy people that is the orphans. So orphans na obviously shule mnajulikana orphans ni akina nani? Obviously. Uh, kuna huyo sasa mwalimu anaitwa Mr. Njuguna. Uh-huh. He still there. Uh-huh. Tumekutana naye juzi mara kadhaa. Wow. So wako so aka push na wakati wenye sasa ikafika na wakati wa kijiji all all the orphans uh-huh. wakasambara waende Gilgil kwa ofisi ya chief uh-huh. majini alikuwa amechukuliwa before so yenye ameenda through mtapata pesa sijui msaada ilikuwa ya aina gani yenye tuko tunaenda because tulibebana sisi wote uh-huh. tukapeleka na, na one of my aunt pia mwenye anaishi huko bado ushago yes. akatupeleka so wa majini akaitwa akaitwa kwa miss kwa list oh <laughs> Kumis kwa list na mmekaa kwa kambi uh, the whole day. Yeah. So hapo ndio sasa wa mama waka certain ladies kutoka Ushago, mmoja ndiye nakumbuka vizuri anaitwa Mama Mburu, ndiye mzee wa nyumba kumi sasa uko Ushago saa hii. Mm-hmm. She still there very old. Yes. A very good woman. Mhm. Wakaingia huko wakashikana wa mama wakaenda wakaambia watu sisi tumekubali msitusaidie. Yes. Lakini kuna watoto wa mzee fulani pale tungeomba tu tafadhali wasaidiwe mjue venye mtawafanya so message the message was home na sisi hata hatukujua wamesema hivyo oh my god so wameenda wakatutetea yes na siku ikaisha so si kabidi tumerudi nyumbani aha uh-huh. na hatukuwa na fea umetrek <laughs> miguu a a sasa ya kwenda uh-huh. mumetafuta fea ya kwenda gilgil mkiwa na hopes that mnarudi na pesa na fununu zilikuwa zinasemekana ni pesa mingi hazikuwa pesa kidogo uh-huh. So mumeenda mkiwa na hopes mnapata pesa wakati wenye zilikosa mjua venye mtafika nyumbani. Oy. So we had to trek from Gilgil to home. Kasambara. Tuka trek tukafika kitu saa tatu za usiku. Ni mbali? Ni mbali. Because from Gilgil to you know where St Mary's is. Uh-huh. So past St Mary's. Eh. But sasa hauta hauta pita the highway uh-huh. kwa sababu sasa ya magari uh-huh. my aunt anajua hizo shortcut huko juu ukifuata reli uh-huh. because reli sasa iko tu hapo juu uh-huh. so tuko tunafuata hiyo njia mahali hata ukinirudisha siwezi pita siwezi jua tulipitia wapi but i can tell ni huko tu juu and then tukajipata tuko nyumbani merudi nyumbani Tumerudi. bila kitu e, vile tu tulikuja that was on friday tunakaa weekend monday turudi shule <laughs> Roho zikiwa chini kule. Ziko chini kuliko venye mlikuwa mmeenda. My god. Yeah. Lakini ka shopping bado kana kuja? Ka shopping bado kako? Oh. Eh. Thank god. Sasa mlala nja. Eh, ah, kulala nja sasa hakuna. Thank god. Eh. Eh. So ka shopping kako. Mhm. Eh. Ile plea ya wale wa mama itasikika ama itasikika. Na sasa wakati ambapo itasikika Unajua sasa hii story unakuja kupo baadaye yes. because waliisema na hawatasema because hakuna mahali tutakutana na wao ni, ni village na unajua village mashamba ni kubwa so hamkutani sana and i think kwa hiyo committee kuna mtu anaitwa pastor Karanja mm-hmm. so alikuwa anaongoza ile committee mm-hmm. so after ameisikia alijua ni wapi mm-hmm. wa, wale watoto wanatoka mm-hmm. waka wakajipanga na i think wakakuwa so much interested kujua hawa watoto ni waina gani after uh, after kitu a week huyo pastor Karanja akasema kunyu kutakuja wageni next Saturday so that is after two weeks now kutakuja wageni but sasa sisi ametuambia after a week kutakuja wageni but now Saturday mimi na siku yangu ya kazi ya kuendea yeah. ka shopping uh-huh. mimi sitakosa kuenda ka home. lazima tu nikae yes. na walikuwa nasema watachukua watoto wadogo aha uh-huh. so i was so sure i'm not one of them yes. of course brother wangeenda na one of the cousins angechukuliwa. Mm-hmm. 
So mimi sisangu mkubwa nilikwambia hayuko by that time yes. asha atolewa yes. so tumebaki wanne uh -huh. so obvious obvious wangechukua brother yangu na one of my cousins so tubaki mimi na the first born wa ile wa yule anti mwingine na mzigo ungekuwa pengine rahisi uh -huh. so mi nilikuwa sure wakichukuliwa ni uh -huh. sawa nikiwapata ni sawa yes wakaenda so hiyo saturday kukakuja wageni si yuko wakakuja wakapiga piga picha nini nini huko nyumbani na after wameona condition it was not so pleasing kwani how was your eyes. house nyumba ya matope uh -huh. na ukiangalia ile condition urudi usikie kuna watoto wanaishi pale and then they are living with the grandfather the Alone. grandfather is so old uh -huh. even to take care of them yes akukuwa kuzuri to a point that walion hakuna mtu anafaa kubaki kwa hiyo boma apart from the grandfather uh -huh. So waka, wakachukuliwa mimi walinikujia hapo Rainvari Hospital. Nikifanya kazi. Uh -huh. Aha. <laughs> Wakakuja hapo na wakasema tumeamua hata wewe haubaki. So it was so fast mimi hata kuna nguo niliendea nyumbani, hakuna kitu niliendea nyumbani. So niliingia tu kwa gari. So hata ukwambie guka kwa heri? Mhm. -mm. Atuko dana na guka. Aha. Uh Because -huh. after imetoka hapo, yes, ni kunyorosha Gilgil. Aha. Uh -huh. So in that company ya watu wa kutukujia Gilgil kuna mzee anaitwa Wamai na kuna mama anaitwa Shosho Jean. Uh -huh. Tunamuita Shosho Jean. Yes. She is there up to now. Wow. Eh. Hey. Uh -huh. So that is how we landed in Gilgil. Gilgil wapi? Mmepelekwa wapi? Tumepelekwa yani tumepelekwa mahali hata familia haijui. <laughs> Mungu wangu. So the aunt ame to release walikuwa pamoja na familia yake wame to release tumeenda. Wana release na mjiko wajui kwenye watoto wanapelekwa. Ni, bora tu waenda wakasaidia. Na wakachinjwa. <laughs> <laughs> Sasa hawa watoto ni wa Mungu. Ah, waende tu. All right. Uh -huh. It was now. Yes. I think ingekuwa ni mimi ningeuliza maswali. Yes. But by then hakukuwa na maswali. Yeah. But no kwa sababu imekuja ni kama imekuja kama ofisi. Mm -hmm. You see now this pastor Karanja ni mtu amekuwa kwa ile committee mm -hmm. ya kusaidia watu. Ni watu trustworthy. Eh, so at least ni mtu unajua na ni mtu wa nyumbani. Yes. So in case of anything unajua nani mtaendea. Eh, Unaweza uliza mtu. So tukajipata tuko Gilgil. Aha. Uh -huh. Saidia Children's Home. Mm. Mumepelekwa Children's Home. Tumepelekwa Children's Home, tukapokelewa vizuri. Aha. Uh -huh. Tukapata mama mzungu mwenye alikuwa ameanzisha hiyo boma. The late Jane Jill Simpson. Aha. Uh -huh. rest in peace. Amen. Tukampata hapo, she was so welcoming. Mama tu mzee lakini mzuri akatuelcome vizuri. Uh -huh. So that was in, ni Saturday, hatuna transfer, hatujui tumeenda wapi. <laughs> Aha, uh -huh. tukaenda tu tukajipata huko. Culture shock kubwa ya kuingia huko ilikuwa gani imetoka kwa nyumba ya matope? Mmeenda mm. nyumba ya ni, ni ya mawe uh -huh. but it's like a school. Aha. Uh -huh. So mko watoto tu wengi. So ni kama boarding school. Ni kama boarding school mnakaa tu huko. But at least tukaenrolliwa shule. So connection na transfer kutoka mahali penye tulikuwa because the head teacher wa ile shule nilimekwambia alikuwa anajua na ni mtu alikuwa anafuatilia sana yes. ha watoto tu wapate mahali safe. Uh -huh. Uh, so transfer aliandika mbio mbio tukajipata tumeingishwa Gilgil that is DB yes mm. na mugedhoma tugedhoma tugedhoma mwaka mugima that is hiyo 20 that is 207 so naongea kuhusu story sasa ya 207 tukachukuliwa tukasoma hapo and then mambo ikakuwa mzuri kule children's home wakaona hawa watoto ndio wa perform because sasa culture shock mimi kwa issue lenye nilienda nimezoea kuitwa position 1 mm -hmm. kutoka class 1 hiyo class 7 yes sasa first term yes mtoto amezoea number 1 number 1 number 1 number 1 umefika hapo exam ya kwanza number 24 eh <laughs> <laughs> wewe unajipata uko position 24 ukashinda uko ni kunaenda aje yeah, huko but sasa kule unajua sasa ushago watoto ni around 34 yes. awafiki 40 uh -huh. huko umepata around 100 sasa so, position 24 saa hizi ndio unaona ni mzuri but ile ile ili nishtua nikasikia kuacha shule. Yeah. Eh. <laughs> Mas sasa at least tukatolewa hapo tukaingia tukapelekwa uh, uh, that is a private school Gilgil Hills tukiwa na one of my cousins. Huu so, mkubwa cousin wa hii nyumba nyingine tulikuwa class moja. So tumeenda tukiwa class seven sisi wote. Tukaenda huko tukasoma mwaka mzima after tumeregister DB. Tukarudi saa kufanya exam ya KCP tukaongoza. 
Nikakuwa position 1, akanifuata position 2. Hey! Hey! Back to the top. <laughs> eh, hey, back to the top sasa. Uh -huh. At least inaona hata hii ya, ku, ya kuanguka hapa ya 24. Yes. Kuwa si feel sana. Uh -huh. Bado unajuanga I was the top. Yes. Kutoka class 1 to class 8. Hey, Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Ni vizuri kunipea moyo. Eh. Hey. Uh -huh. mm. So tumemaliza hapo tumeingia form 1. Bado ni children's home ikiwapendeka. Sasa children's home imetuchukua na hapo mission yao ni kusomesha watoto yani huku utoke tu na education yes na as long as you are willing to learn Aha, to go to school tutakusaidia hadi mahali utafika kuna wakati walikuwa unaketi hivi unasema guys sasa Mungu kwa nini napitia haya yote kwa nini niko huku na watoto wengine kwa nini siko nyumbani na mamangu na watoto wetu unaweza jiuliza hivyo because especially uki, ukiwa shule unajua kila mtu anaongea kuhusu mama kuhusu baba and then wewe uko zile za mimi nitaongea kuhusu nani mm -hmm. na hauelewi so ilikuwa inafikanga wakati huo na inakuwa so emotional to a point that tulianza kujifunza kuf, nini fiction mtu akiongea kuhusu mama na uko na mama <laughs> mtu akiongea kuhusu baba hata unaongea kuhusu baba yes you make up stories but kuna wakati wakati wenza tulingia gilgil hills for that one year ingefika wakati wa visiting hata kama si boarding but ikifika wakati wa maybe academic days unajua day scholars bado mko you can imagine wale watu wenye walikuwa nakuja kuwa visit <laughs> tulikuwa tunasoma na watu wa watu wa yani watoto wa watu wakubwa yeah. because i remember hata by then june wa, wa president wa the current president yes. alikuwa anasomea huko na by then alikuwa the minister of agriculture uh -huh. something of the sort yes. so tulikuwa nakujua na chopa nini nini unaona ni sawa nimeletupiwa school fees ni sawa nimekuja shule kubwa lakini hai, hai, haipelekani kuna kitu tu kuna kuna kitu natamani yeah. mm, sasa kama hiyo hata high school bado tukaenda form 1 form 2 tulisomea high school flani na ilikuwa na freedom sana to a point that watu walikuwa nakuja na shopping na vitu tu mzuri mzuri mm -hmm. na unatamani yeah. but remember mahali ambapo umetoka wewe ni school fees but one thing i like hatuko if kuziwa school fees mm -hmm. walikuwa nalipa school fees kabla e, hata kabla uende shule cheki inaandikwa nyimbo napata imemachua na imesha reflect kwa account ya shule yes. so school fees by that time it was not an issue mm -hmm. but kuna tule tu tu vitu tu tunakushika tuwa ku tuwa self pity yes yeah. unajihurumia kwa nini your box imeja imeja juice yeah. imeja nini uh -huh. nangu haina, haina. Yeah. that kind of a thing but at least we overcame yes. and then we had tuka, tuka pata favor so tukua na some good friends tuk, so ungepata maybe wanatupea vitu but being the three of us kwa sababu sasa wakati tulifika tuko high school mm -hmm. tulijipata high school moja wasichana watatu uh -huh. so hapa katikati kuna kuna mtu amekuja kuna msichana amekuja ametu join yes. wakati wa clashes after clashes so tumejipata kwa shule tuko wasichana watatu from the same place so haujihurumi sana kwa sababu sasa tena mko watatu unatiana moyo yes. e, hata saa zingine you make fun yes. e, muna make fun na hiyo kitu sana na we made it <laughs> we <laughs> Wewe na Mungu mlijuania wapi? Ah uh, kitambo. Because hata wakati wenye tuko ushago, sisi ni watoto tulilelewa kwa kanisa. Mm -hmm. Na tulizoeshwa kwenda Sunday school from the word go. Yes. Na hata my grandfather alijua siku ya Jumapili si ya kitu kingine, mm -mm. ni siku ya kwenda kanisani. I remember hata baptism mimi nili, nilibatizwa nikiwa class 5. Mm -hmm. And even my mom was not there. So you can see nilikuwa mtu serious kwa kanisa. Yes. Na kanisa yenye tulikuwa hapo ya hapo mashambani, walikuwa ni watu very serious, watu wanawajali. Mhm. Mm By then walikuwa natusaidia hata kama si ile sana. Yeah. But they were there for us. Amen. So spiritually yes. it was not a challenge. Uh -huh. Na wakati sasa ambapo tumefika Gilgil, hapo sasa kwa children's home across the road. Mm -hmm. Kuna church. Yeah. That is solid rock uh -huh. fellowship uh -huh. ya Aposto Charles Irongo. Uh -huh. Hapo tu ndio tuliingia Sunday school. Kuingia Sunday school na wakatunacha sana kiroho, wakatushikilia, hawakutuachilia. So hivyo kuingia kidogo kidogo youth tukifunga shule from boarding school uh -huh. because secondary school tulienda boarding. So ukifunga shule unaingia hapo, unapata watu very friendly. So tukaingia prison worship, hivyo kidogo kidogo nikienda campus, narudi prison worship. Wow. 
so kwa katika katika mambo ya kiroho yes. sikuwa na issue sana walikuwa too grounded vizuri nilikuwa grounded sasa mtoto amelelewa na guka yake mm. tena akaenda children's home mm. Har anaona box yake iko empty mm. lakini amepita vizuri. Yeah. Campus utaenda aje vipi? Utaenda campus, kivipi sasa? Campus nitaenda after after form 4. Uh-huh. Tutaingia campus. Nitaingia campus that is. Uh-huh. Nikaingia Ijaton University. Wow. Yeah. But before kuingia Ijaton University kuna kastrago hapa katikati. Uh-huh. Remember wakati ambapo tumeingia students home, yes. we are the pioneers. Sisi ndio watu wakubwa. Tumepata watoto wadogo. Uh-huh. So kuingia form 1 pioneers pioneers wanakuwa na yes. struggles nyingi because hawa watu wajaipeleka watoto wengine form 1 so lazima kukuwa na two challenges before we adapt mm-hmm. kusomesha hawa watoto yes again hata after form 4 nilifanya form 4 ya kwanza kwa sababu ya hizi struggles sasa wakati ambapo unaanza kujijua uh-huh. kuna hizo emotions zenye zinakukujia so nikaanza kukuwa affected sana na nikapata chronic ulcers What? Eh nikagonjeka ulcers ambazo zilikuwa zinani affect sana. Hadi academically nikarudi chini. Nikaenda tu chini kabisa especially form 4. Form 4 niligonjeka sana. To a point that at your third term nilifanya yeah. exams nikiwa mgonjwa. Wow. Ya kwanza that is form 4. Ya kwanza because I did it twice. Yeah. Nikaanguka. So after kumaliza shule, results zimetoka, umeanguka. So hakuna hopes. Again you are a pioneer tena wa Yes. Kumaliza form 4. Uh-huh. So they don't know how to handle mtu mwenye amemaliza form 4. Yes. Na wanasikia kuna colleges, kuna nini. So wanajaribu tu. Uende ujaribu tukatafuta courses with that grade kupata course yenye mtu anataka haikuwa rahisi. Uh-huh. So nikakaa by then resources zilikuwa zinatoka February. Uh-huh. So unaona wale wengine washafungua shule. Yes. But in the process ya kutafuta course hapa that is March nikaka nika make up my mind nikajiuliza what if i go back because this is not my grade mm-hmm. so i can go back and do better nika request mm-hmm. for a chance mm-hmm. nikauliza kama wanaweza kubali kuni sponsor tena yes. i go back to the same school yes. and i see what i can do uh-huh. wakakubali wow wakaniambia niende hiyo shule na unajua hapa pote ni una ni una jipeleka shule by the way ah <laughs> that is another challenge wewe ni unajibebea box ni ujue venye utafika wewe itabebwa na boda nakwambia pioneers wanakuwa na wewe ni wewe mzazi wako wewe ndiye mzazi sasa ikifika sasa ni kwenda shule oh my god mm. so tukaenda nika, nikauliza the lady akakubali tuneza rudi shule so hapa tuko na tuko wasichana wawili from children's home mm-hmm. ndio sasa tuna tunafanya hizi vitu zote so at least tunapeana company yes. so you are not alone, oh, you are not alone. E, tukarudia form 4 that is april watu wako holiday lakini hawa sasa wamerudi tuition yes. walikuwa wanafunga 2 weeks 2 weeks wanarudi tuition so si tuirudi tuition luckily hatuko tumepeana vitu za after form 4 Uh-huh. So box iko hapo uniforms iko hapo uh-huh. everything iko hapo ya shule. Yes. So for them is only to pay school fees. So si wow. tukabeba tena box kurudi shule. Basi sasa hapo unarudi shule ukiwa zile za ushakubali you have to make it in life. Sasa ni masomo. Yes. Weke stress se- chini. Hakuna self pity tena. Yes. So unaziweka chini. Nikarudi na nikapata grade ya kunipeleka campus. Hallelujah. Amen. Wacha turudi hapa <laughs> pa self pity. Mm. Nini haswa ilikuwa inafanya usikie uko chini sana mm. ikakuletea mpaka hiyo chronic illness. Chronic uh, ulcers. ulcers. Ulcers zinaletwa na kwa sababu sasa ushafika mahali. Yeah. Uh, hawa watoto wako na a complete family. Wenye mnasoma nao. Wenye tunasoma na wao. Yes. So wanafika mahali hizi story ndizo nakwambia wanapiga yeah. my mom sijui we went we came ah. sijui nini nini and you can tell hadi venye wanakaa i won't say that hatuko tunaenda na shopping ya kutosha yeah. because shopping tulikuwa tunafanyiwa yes. but you know hizo ni basic mm-hmm. but kama mtoto kuna hizo vitu extra na upendo na warmth warmth sasa yes. na hapa mahali tuko watoto ni wengi yes. hakuna mtu atakonsentate na wewe sana Mm-mm and my, maybe for them they could not even understand that kuna kitu unahitaji ya mzazi that warm ya mzazi that attention ya, ya mzazi yes. hatuko tunapata yeah. 
so ni shule yani unatoka shule unarudi shule because even a children so ni shule yes unalala shule una ni, ni dormitory unalala kama shule familia at this time at, na, let me say that hatuko to understand because at now i understand that pia wao walikuwa na struggle yeah ku ku, ku ku yani ku make it in life pia wale yes so nilikuwa najiuliza mbona hawakujangi kutuangalia aha uh-huh. na tumefika children's home yeah. kama walitutupa yes something like that so hiyo ilileta ulcers so strong that nilikuwa na shinda nga hosi centimeters i was so tiny nilikuwa na weight 44 45 kgs hata ningefika hosi nifike maybe 46 daktari alikuwa anuza hey umekubali kukula so i was always 44 45 hata picha zangu sasa hizo watu wakiangalia they don't believe that i'm the one yes so that is where ulcers zangu zilitoka mm-hmm. so when you may make up mind mm. ulisema sasa enough is enough, enough. sitasikiza hizi stories zao ah, tena hata si stories zao yes. ni mimi sasa ule mtu wa ndani nianze kumuongelesha na nianze kumcommand that there is something that should come out of you yes no matter how unajihurumia yes no matter what unafanya you have to make it you, have you, to you make don't it. have a choice yes yes not for you to make it ni lazima ukae chini uconcentrate na masomo because it's only through education what i make it. that you can be able to make it was it hard it was hard it was hard na ku hiyo ku, kukaa chini na kuamua yeah. hata after kupata hiyo grade because kutoka grade moja uruke nyingine uende nyingine ya yes. tatu yes. it was not easy for two terms peke yake na after tena tumemaliza form 4 kuna hii tena struggle yeah. uh, by then before pate direct uh, campus entry yeah. ni ngumu yani that is regular so hapa ilikuwa inabidi sana tena tutafute parallel mm-hmm. Na kwa sababu kuna grade yenye tuko tumeambiwa it was like a contract tuliandika na children's home that you have to kwa sababu tuliulizwa which grade are you going to get so ikabidi tumesema C plus and above mm-hmm. so C plus and above they, 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 they didn't have a choice kwa sababu sasa sisi tume tumepata grade yenye walikuwa nataka yes tena ni tutafute shule tukatafuta shule tukapata KU kupata KU na tukaenda i remember tulienda tuka kwa sababu sasa already tuko na barua tunafaa ku report time fulani and uh, tukaenda by that time tukapatiwa social worker twende na Nairobi tuka tuka nini tuka accept that we are going to join the university and then tutafute nyumba we had a lot of hopes by the way na hiyo sasa ninyi unaenda ukiambia watu finally finally tunaenda campus yes and then sasa after kukuja I don't know what happened. That year I took when a campus. Why? I can't tell what happened. Vitu tu zili zilienda tu katikati tu hapo. Whatever happened happened. So tukakuwa ni kama atwendi campus. Hopes tena zime. Hopes tena zimeanguka chini. Nakuwa tena crashed. Uwe ni ku vibarua tu nimefanya kazi tumefanya fanya vibarua kwa town unapata mtu anakuajiri bookshop unapewa ya boutique and uh, na sasa hii bado unaishi children's home mama uirudi kwa grandpa hakuna kurudi kwa grandpa after umemaliza form 4 wakaanza tena program nyingine mm-hmm. that because regulations in the children's home zinasema ya kwamba after you are the age of 18 mm-hmm. haufai kuwa ndani mm-hmm. but now kwa sababu kumbuka nilikwambia niliingia shule nikiwa mkubwa so hapa nimemaliza shule miaka ikiwa imesonga So nilimaliza nikiwa I think 22. 22 years ndio namaliza form 4. Mm-hmm. Waka wakatuambia kwamba tutoke watu rentie nyumba. Twende. Mm-hmm. After kurentiwa nyumba tuka tukaanza kukaa tukiwa wasichana wawili na hapo sasa ndipo sasa tulianza kutafuta kazi. Kazi. Na community hapo around Gilgil at least kuna watu tulikuwa tunajua. Yes. Tukapata kazi. Mimi nikapata ya kwanza nilipewa boutique. Mm-hmm. Boutique ya madam fulani alikuwa analipa 2000 mm-hmm. per month. Per month. Okay. Mm-hmm. 2000 per month but it is better 
because at least ni kitu ina ni keep busy yes. for that na nikafanya na unajua ni ile yenye hii sasa nayo party inakuja when you get something yes. ama when you get somewhere that you are working yes you just work not because of money exactly but ikuwe excellent jitume unajituma tu kabisa kabisa yes. because i remember by that time nilingia kwa hiyo boutique ni kama ilikuwa inaanguka hakukuwa uh-huh. na sales hakukuwa na nini but nilingia hapo nikafanya kazi nikaanza ku campaign hadi my friends uh-huh waka wakakuja wananunua uh-huh. kuna wakati ni na unajua wakati hizo hizo enzi za kitambo yeah. before niende yes. ule mama hakuwa anapelekewa hakuwa na expect pesa zipelekwe nyumbani uh-huh. yani ni pesa unaweza bakisha kwa duka because si nyingi yes but remember the first time nilimpelekea 15000 uh-huh. kwa nyumba hata the habi hakuwa mini akuza huwa which tricks are you using uh-huh. to sell yes. but nikamwambia mimi ni i'm enjoying working na na nafungua time yenye inafaa nafunga wakati wenye unafaa so when somebody is working you just work without looking at the money amen yes, yes. so hiyo nilifanya and then kusonga songa kidogo nikaanza kuona passion yangu ni kama ni zataka kukuwa mwalimu kwa sasa hizi kazi za biashara it is not in me yeah <coughs> so tukatafuta kazi ya kufunza Aha. so ile mambo ya campus ni kama ni kama imeenda tu chini ya maji imepotelea tu tuanza so kufikiria kitu kingine so ni kusurvive mm, ni kusurvive sasa tukatoka hapo tukaenda shule shule fulani iko mahali panaitwa langalanga a private school an academy primary tu uh-huh. tukaanza kufunza kufunza tu unapewa tu yani ujaingia class kufunza but you just using the knowledge yes ambayo uko nayo yes tukafanya hapo kwa muda mchache hapo uh, at least tulikuwa tunalipwa 4000 at least nimepanda bei <laughs> imepanda imetoka 2k imeenda yes. imeenda 4 <laughs> yeah. so at least una, unaenda tu kipanda tu pole pole yes. but tukiwa pale kuna the donors wa each children home mm-hmm. sasa wakaanza kukuja ni watu wako passionate sana na education mm-hmm. they value education so much yes. so wakakuja wakaanza kuulizia the way forward nini nini i think after some advices wakajua kwamba hawa watu wanafaa kwenda shule uh-huh. so tuka kaulizwa ni wapi tunaweza tunaweza kwenda yes. but kwa sababu tumeshaka kaa na ile ya university unajua sa KU tungejua what was happening ama that thing could happen mm-hmm. tungeenda ku defer yes tunge defer so that hii chance ikikuja tena tuende tu tena so sisi tuli accept na mkaenda nyumbani na tukaenda nyumbani na mkatulia na tukatulia so ni kumaanisha kwamba yani hautaenda yes you are not interested uh, you are not interested na hujapeana any reason na tuko tumejua hata hiyo mambo ya kudifa ama nini so tukaulizwa tukasema tunaweza taka kufanya education because unaona sasa tumekuwa tukifunza yes nyinyi wawili sasa hey, tuko yes. tu pamoja tuachani uh-huh. tuka tukaambiwa tu apply yes tu apply course na ikafika mahali tunataka teaching ile teaching imesha isha ingia ndani yenu eh na unajua mimi nikikuwa nilikuwa nataka kukuwa nurse uh-huh. ama daktari yeah. so kila mtu alikuwa amejua mimi ni daktari ama mimi ni nurse yes but sasa imefika mahali nimeamua ni teaching yes. ile hata watu hawaamini are you even serious uh-huh. what you want yeah. ngasema yes hata ukiniambia niende nilale niamke nitasema tu teaching yeah. na nilikuwa nimeipenda tu na kitu moja ilifanya nipende teaching iko na, na na wakati extra wa kusavu Mungu Amen. Nilikuwa nasema tu ah, at least iko na holiday na ukienda unarudi jioni unaenda church unaenda practice wakati wa holiday mnaenda conference. Mm-hmm. That was me. Yes. Nilikuwa sana jiambia tu hivyo. Uh-huh. So nikaingia teaching. So hiyo kitu ya kuserve God ilikuwa ndani yako. Ilikuwa ndani kabisa. Mimi hata kanisani nilikuwa naenda tu ikifika ni kutumika na tumika tu. Kabisa. E, kabisa ile fully. Me apply teaching. Tume apply teaching na tunangoja sasa kuitwa me apply wapi huko KU tu mhm ah. ni university aha e sasa tumeamua kukaribia at mahali karibu yes sio mbali sana na by then kuna mtu alikuwa ametuambia degree ya Ijaton ni marketable uh-huh. at least ni mzuri yes so tuka apply huko tukaenda na kila kitu ikaenda through tukaandikiwa checks nini nini ikafika ni wakati wa kureport Mungu wangu ujipeleke mama yako <laughs> wewe ndiye mama yako eh, wewe ndiye mzazi wako wewe ndiye mzazi ujipeleke tena so you can imagine sasa ni kuhama kwa ile nyumba yenye tulirentiwa so at least tuko na tusufuria tuko na sahani tuko na vikombe ni yeah. hivyo 
na iga toni unabeba hizo vitu by then tuko tunabeba hizo vitu saizi nasikia hakuna uh-huh. but by then ulikuwa unajipikia ungejipikia ungefanya nini so at least our the children's home mi kuna kitu naipendea uh-huh. education comes first uh-huh. school fees uh-huh. na upate shelter uh-huh. na hakuna starehe uh-uh. hakuna vitu za starehe uh-uh. so ukiwa na mentality ya starehe huko huwezi survive, survive. Eh, kwa sababu sasa tumeandikiwa check school fees ishalipwa accommodation ishalikiwa yes because sasa ni ukuje na na school fee yani hiyo structure fee structure na accommodation wende utafute ni wapi unafaa kuishi. Mm-hmm. Of course tulichagua kuishi ndani. Yes. Tukachagua one of the hostels na tukalipiwa. Maisha yakaanza. Tukasoma. Mkasoma mkajitahidi. Mkajitahidi. Na nikusoma na unajua sasa pale na pia ni contract. Sasa hawa wameanza kukuja kila wakati sasa sisi tuko tunafanya kazi ni kama contract tunafanya na. Aha, uh-huh. una renew. Ni na ni, ni contract uh-huh. ya you have to do well yes for you to be supported ah uh, for them to continue paying yes aha uh-huh. so pale mahali bidi tuna sign ile contract yes luckily walisema ya kwamba usipate less than yani us, siju upate pass ni kama hawaku wamelewa vizuri uh-huh. but <laughs> you have to pass yes na sasa sisi ukijua ni wapi unaenda na ukijua uh-huh. ni nani amekutuma yes so they had to tunajuka maisha ya campus ilikuwa ni kwenda kusoma yes. nini nini yes. i remember hata kuna wakati one of my friends mm-hmm. alikuwa na joke kila wakati nashinda library so ungepita maisha ya campus unaielewa yes. unapata tu watu wamekaa tu wana ni story uh-huh. tu ilikuwa kwa wifi yes. so kuna kasichana hapo kalikuwa kanashinda kakini alikuwa ananiita mkale <laughs> aniambia mkale wetu umeenda tena library uh-huh. so namjokia na mwambia uh-huh. mimi unajua sisi kwetu waliuza shamba wakauza kila kitu uh-huh. nikuje nisome uh-huh. so i have to work hard nirudi niwarudishie shamba na ngombe ndio <laughs> waliuza ndio waliuza ndio nisome unaibrush off na unaenda yes but kuna kuna mzazi mmoja wakati ambapo tuliingia uh-huh. akiongelesha msichana wake nilisikia uh-huh. na akamwambia uju ukiingia campus kuna mtoto wa president kuna mtoto wa MP kuna mtoto wa mcho majima ka uh-huh. kuna mtoto wa boda boda uh-huh. you are in the same campus na hakumo yani anarudi ana anamwambia we mwenyewe wao jua wewe ni wanani kati ya hizo categories zote. Yeah. So kama wewe ni mtoto wa boda boda, yeah. hauwezi behave same na mtoto wa president. president. No. Whatever he or she is doing, you can't do the you same. Can't. Whatever anakula, you can't eat the same. Na huyu amekuja ku pass time kwa maybe campus. Yes. Majority of them wanakuja ku pass time. Yes. Wewe ni nini nimekuleta campus? Wewe. So that hiyo kitu ili sink. Na unajua ile msichana kwa sababu tulikuwa kwa hostel moja alikuwa anashinda tu akirudia. Wa ni nomi ya dewa mushini wa makara. Uh-huh. And, so akisema tu hiyo kitu inamwamsha unajipata uko camp, yani uko library. Yes. Eva kusoma hakuna ku miss lecture. Hakuna raha tu watu wanaenda Friday sijui wapi. Hiyo kitu haikuwa ingia hata. Yes. Hata kidogo. Umemaliza campus. Eh. Lakini sasa hapa bado nikiwa campus bado na serve Mungu. Acha nirudi sasa kwa kwa sababu na card kwa kusavu Mungu. Yes. First year after nimemaliza first year uh-huh. in one of the holidays uh-huh. nilikuwa nimeenda Tuesday fellowship church uh-huh. that is in Gilgil. After tumefunga tukao tu tunarudi Gilgil. Yes. But ile nyumba it's no longer there. So mnaishi wapi? <laughs> And you can't go back to to, to children's, children's home. home. So huko utakuwa ukiendea tu check ya kulipiwa. Hey, mama yo. So ni venye unajuana na watu sasa ni wewe. Sasa unaishi kwa watu. Sasa nilipata a very nice lady wa church tulikuwa prison worship na yeye yes. na unajua sawa ni wale watu wanashare na wao so nilikuwa nakaa kwake anaitwa mama precious amen <laughs> so hata nilinichukua na nikakuwa daughter uh-huh. up to now she refers to me as, as a, a daughter, daughter. Yes. wow may so, god bless her so nilikuwa nakaa huko yes na nikiwa church our apostle mm-hmm. that is apostle charles irongo mm-hmm. akajua niko holiday na ninatafuta kazi Three months huwezi kaa tu mm. hata unatoka hey, kwa wenyewe eh, ni nyingi akajua natafuta kazi mm-hmm. akaniuliza kama naweza nataka kukuwa secretary mm-hmm. wa church mm-hmm. but then natakuwa na secretary ina wa church yes. so this is a vacancy na creative na ina creative na nikasema why not yes. i can give it a try nikaingia na hivyo sasa ndivyo nilianza kukuwa secretary wake na nilikuwa ili it was a good chance to serve god yes. and to serve the man of god uh-huh. so after that so hata nikiwa campus ningekuja akiwa na vitu zinataka kutaipiwa ningekuja weekend na type 
sandi na kuja natumika na rudi njoro mm-hmm. that is igaton wakati wenye siendi gilgil naenda church solid rock yangu tu njoro yes na serve tu hapo naenda tu nikiwa youth nikaingia prison worship wow so whether i'm home whether i'm in school bado yeah. niko church always in church i'm always in church guka guka alikaa tu nyumbani akaka so bado tu tukiwa campus but yes. amekuja ku pass 2018 Ulikuwa unaenda kumvisit CV eh, wakati wa holiday wakati wa holiday tukiwa children's home yeah. ilifika wakati tulikuwa tungeruhusiwa uh-huh. kwenda nyumbani after sasa wame notice kuna kuna watu ambao wako na familia yeah. na mnaenda ku visit so that you can umusi disconnect sana mm-hmm. so tukaanza kupea yango ile chance yes. maybe unapoa one week ama mnapoa two weeks uh-huh. so tungeenda at least tunamtembelea and then tunarudi hata nikiwa campus yes. unajua at least campus unaweza save save to pocket money yes and kwa sababu kuna kitu moja nilijua uh-huh. if you have to do something yes. do it now not to don't wait for tomorrow yes. if you have to help somebody help, help that person now, now usiseme na ngoja kesho sijui ni kuena pesa nyingi ama ni kuena nini yes. so i used to go to visit my grandfather wow. na nafanya ka shopping kadogo hivyo pole pole up to 2018 wakati alipas wow but sasa amepass after after ni graduate mm-hmm when nicole mo sasa kwenda kufanya the major thing but at least mimi i don't regret alikuona na hiyo kofia ya ku graduate na hiyo gown ana hakukuja he was oh. he was sick alianza the old age ilimpata ah, okay. akaanza kukua na mental mm. issues mm-hmm. so hange travel sana okay e, hange travel umemaliza college umemaliza university nimemaliza nimekuwa raia nimekuwa raia and then sasa sisi tuli, tulimaliza shule teaching practice ikakuwa ya mwisho that is attachment uh-huh. ikakuwa ya mwisho so the school i went to to do the attachment nikafanya kazi attachment haulipwi ile yako ya kujituma ukajituma ya kujituma nikajituma kabisa yes. but nakumbuka there is one man ambaye aliniambia alinikumbusha hiyo kitu uh-huh. in case umesahau mambo na kujituma uh-huh. ukienda hapo fanya kazi kabisa na kama ni kujituma jitume kabisa kabisa so mimi nikafika pale nikajituma nikakuwa hard work nini unaenda hard extra lessons uh-huh. unapata mtu am, maybe amechoka unamwambia nikusaidie lesson wow. anakuambia nisaidie unaingia lesson because unataka kupata hiyo yes. experience mzuri kabisa yes. so nikajituma nikajituma after kumaliza attachment the principal akasema akiongelesha the tps anawaambia just in case ukimaliza ukienda shule umalize mm-hmm. unaweza rudi. Oh. Na kama umemaliza unaweza acha barua zako mm-hmm. your document here. Mm-hmm. Eh mimi ni nani singekubali kwenda nyumbani. A- aje sasa <laughs> nyumbani wapi <laughs> hata wapi hata eh. na hauna kwa kurudi. So nikaacha document zangu na nikaacha kama nimeongea na deputy in case kuna chance si unaweza ni fix. Yeah na nika, na nikakuwa tu nimeziacha hadi kwa principal nikaziacha uh-huh. tu hapo kasivi kenye nika form four na hata certificate ya campus hakuna <laughs> but kuna faith at least kuna faith yes. hata siku hama the house yenye nilikuwa nimerent njoro uh-uh. ya ya kufanyia teaching practice mimi uh-uh. niliacha hiyo holiday yote nikiwa na hopes that utaitwa nitaitwa na nitapata job So mimi nikaenda Gilgil holiday nikarudi. Hiyo wakati wa siku ya kufungua nikajituma tu nikaambia yule mama precious acha nirudi huko kwenye nilikuwa. Yeah. Nipeleke salamu. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> Naenda kupeleka salamu. Eh. Uh-huh. Alafu naenda tu na uoga, hauju kama unaweza pata kazi yes. kwa sababu shamaliza teaching practice. Kweli. Nikaenda tu nikiingia kwa kwa principal uh-huh kumsalimia nilimpata kama ameshika documents fulani na ameshika simu. Uh-huh. Akaniangalia akanikumbuka akaniuliza, "Are you Selena?" Nikamwambia, "Yes, I'm the one." Uh-huh. Is this your CV? Nikamwambia, "Yes." I was about to call you. Ah! <laughs> Look at God. Oh. God is faithful. Ha, I was about to call you. And I even kwa deputy umwambia kupe lessons. Oh my god. Do you even have time kuuliza salary ni pesa ngapi? Uh-huh. Do you even have time kuuliza terms and conditions? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Bora niko kazi. Ah. So sikutamaka. So unaona God anakuja tu akiwag. Eh, anakuja tu akifanya njia zake tu hivyo. Ngaenda kwa deputy akanipea lessons na nikakaa. Sasa unakaa unaanza kuuliza walimu wa BOM huku mnalipango ngapi? <laughs> Ata kama ni 10, hata kama ni 5. Uko sawa. Bora niko kazi. Sasa ni survive na 2K. Eh, na 2K. Eh. Na nakwambia na ni unafanya tu hivyo zinaisha. Yes hata hakuna kitu ungefanya nazo but at least yes and uh, when you are faithful na zile kidogo yes. god is faithful to elevate you indeed so hapo nilienda nikafanya kazi 
that is the only station yenye ni yani si kutamak yes na nimefanya that station kutoka 2017 that is nilifanya 2017 teaching practice first term mm-hmm. kazi nikapewa second term mm-hmm. so nimefanya up to january juzi january wow. 2023 wow nimekuwa nikifanya kazi hapo the same place the same place what were you teaching i was teaching kiswahili and siari ah Mwalimu Tisha Mwalimu Leo Tisha re Yes Tisha wajiko Uko na pete rembo sana Huyu eh mtu wa Mungu umepatana na yeye wapi kwa hii mambo yote Mtu wa Mungu amenipata kanisani Ah nikifanya kazi nikiwa kazi ya Bwana Mnasikia warembo Kwa Mungu niko kuzuri Kwa Mungu ni unapata hawa watu kwa club Eh kumendaje So it is one of the conference uh, solid rock wanafanya conferences mega conferences so 2018 2018 kulikuwa na conference ya august mm-hmm. interdenominational conference mm-hmm. so kwa, kwa kawaida mimi ni mtu wa service kabisa because uko present worship uko protocol uko nini uko kila uko, mahali uko kila mahali but mostly serving the men of god yes that is apostle and the bishops na wageni wenye walikuwa nakuja uh-huh. so i was all over nikitumika as he says uh-huh. aliona kamtu uh-huh. kako very busy yes. na kazi ya Mungu kana pita shoe kana pita tena kana pita pita tu akaambia the friend huyu uh-huh. mtu nikiwa naye kwa nyumba si ni mzuri ah anitumikiange hivi <laughs> eh uh-huh. so akani spot but yes. we never talked yes. na siku siku anajua Huko unajua kuna mtu amekuona mahali. Siku anajua nimeonekana. Uh-huh. Ilikuwa tu ni mambo ya Mungu. Yes. So after after afterwards akajaribu I was not so easy to get. Uh-huh. Because I was so busy. Yes. Because unaona kama weekend niko niko church nafanya kazi, uh-huh. weekdays niko njoro nafanya yes. na, nafunza. Yes. So my schedule was so busy. So akatafuta na unajua sasa ananitafuta kanisani. Yes. <laughs> na sasa hapa amejua huyu ni mwalimu. Uh-huh. Na huyu ni mtu anapenda mambo ya Mungu uh-huh. na wa present worship. Uh-huh. So akatafuta kitabu. Uh-huh. <laughs> akatafuta book ambayo inaongea mambo ya worship. Yes. Alikuwa papa sili anipatie kitabu. Uh-huh. Aha. sasa alikuwa anashindwa atanipatia haji. Uh-huh. Akajaribu hiyo sande hakunipata na kaona hawezi rudi nayo mahali ambapo alikuwa ametoka kisi. Uh-huh. Mtu anatoka kisi. Eh. But kwa ni Gilgil. Okay. Eh, so akikuja anakuja kwa mama yake. So aka, akapatia na book na imeandikwa. Uh-huh. Imeandikwa jina langu. Yes. Na nikapewa book na nikaipenda. Ah, nikaona kitabu kimeandikwa Back to Basics cha Pastor Dorcas, cha Reverend Dorcas. Na hata <laughs> ujui. Spiritual mom. No. Hata mama si mjui. Nada ujua mwenye kupeana kitabu? Mwenye kupeana kitabu namjua okay. ni pasta uh-huh. so namjua kama big brother. Ah. Brother in Christ. Brother zone. Uh-huh. Brother in Christ. Yes. Kwa sababu asiyezi sema tukua tunajuana, mm-hmm. tulikuwa tunajuana, nilikuwa najua kwao, yes. that is watu wao. Yes. So, so he was not a stranger. Ah. So ataki ni approach, hani approach kama stranger. stranger. But sasa hako ananijua ile ya undani. But the mom knows me. Uh-huh. The sister knows me. So atakitaka mwa Kenya. Yes, anauliza. Anaweza uliza yes. kakoaje? Yes. At least alikuwa na alikuwa na watu anamwambia nikoaje. Mm-hmm. And I thank God that sikuwa nime mess up. Mm-hmm. So watu wengi wenye aliuliza about me. Yes. Alipata a good report. Huyu ni msichana mzuri mwerevu. Eh. <laughs> yes. So sana sana hata ni mambo ya Mungu. Yes. Ako sawa. Napenda Mungu. Eh. Kwa sababu nakumbuka kuna hata wa mama wawili aliniambia aliuliza. Eh. Na wakamwambia wale walikuwa so close to me yes. in the church <laughs> na wakampia the report. So akaenda hiyo August ikapita, September ikapita after nimepata kitabu na nikakana nikasema nimepata kitabu asante. Uh-huh. Through Facebook of course that is the messenger. Uh-huh. Big brother nimepata kitabu. Uh-huh. Asante. Eh. Uh-huh. Kwa sababu zingine anajaribu kuangalia chat za kitambo naona ni big brother uh-huh. yeye kabisa ni big brother. So akaanza ku, ku akani request mwezi wa kumi hivyo basa i had to to be hard yeah and nikakaa because i was not ready mm-hmm. of course i was in a in a relationship mm-hmm. and then it was not so good and then mtu ana mtu anafika mahali ana unaona ni kama anakuchezea akili yes. so inafika mahali una block na unasema mm, mm-hmm. let me just serve god yes na niachane na hawa watu mm-hmm. so wakati ambapo anakuja anapata mtu mwenye ni hadiko yes. mtu mwenye hataki kusikia anything to do with the man yeah, yeah. 
but after sasa I'm any convince enough I give in you ukakubali and how long Kubali. have you been together uh, we have been together from that you now 2018 uh-huh. s- October yeah. up to now but uh, between 2018 because sasa umtu see stranger uh-huh. we are mature yes. he was mature he was mature uh-huh. because me yakano bado ilikuwa imesonga hata kama bado ni ilikuwa nakata kwa hiyo ilikuwa na ngapi then i was 28 ah hiyo ndio imesonga lakini sawa ehe na mambo ya kawaida yes. 28 ni mtu mwenye hataki mchezo mm, kweli eh obviously ni mtu mwenye hata akikuja unamuuliza I'm not dating. Mm-hmm. Are you serious? Mm-hmm. Are you a, a family man or umekuja tu kucheza? Yes. Ananiambia hata mimi sijakuja kucheza. I'm looking for a wife not a uh, not a girlfriend. Yes. So akakuja tuka na tuka, tuka connect sana so fast na kukaa kwa sababu sasa tumesema hatutaki mambo ya si mambo ya mchezo tumekuja and we want to maintain ourselves. So aka tukaanza tu mipango. He wants a wedding. By then hata nilikuwa nime give up na wedding. Uh-huh. Hata my friends walikuwa na, kitamo nilikuwa napenda wedding. Yes. So by the time anakuja mimi sikuwa mtu wedding. Juu ulikuwa umepigwa character development. Development sawa sawa. Sasa hata uone. Sasa hizo umechapo character development eh. na mtu wa church. So uh-huh. najindwa kanisa tena. <laughs> Let me just serve God alone. Yes. So amekuja tumepanga panga harusi kaenda so fast. Tukaipanga tukafanya 2019 mwezi wa sita. You never grew up seeing any role model in marriage. No. Or even a parent. Ata your family set up. Hi, it's so strange to you. It's so strange to me. Nini imefanya ukakaa kwa marriage basi? Ni kutamani maisha ya a complete family. Mm-hmm. Where by the, mtoto ako na mama na ako na baba mm-hmm. at the same time. Mm-hmm. Yes. Kuna mtu wako hapo mepitia mm-hmm. mashida. Mm-hmm. Maybe worse or even less than mm. yenu mepitia. Mm. Na nafila ko. Sasa mimi unless nijiue, mm. jui maisha. Sina hiyo warmth ya parents, sina anything, mm. sina maana ya life. Mm. Utamshoje? Unaweza muambia a break, yani ako hapo na amechaguliwa na Mungu to break that chain ya ya umaskini pengine nyumbani, awache kujihurumia kwa sababu hata akijihurumia at the end of the day yes. haitamsaidia mm-hmm. and then the struggles zinafanya mtu anakuwa strong mm-hmm. to a point that you can make yani you can survive in any Anywhere. situation yes. and in any place mm-hmm. and uh, that being brought up in a hard way yes. inatufanya tunafika mahali ambapo tumefika Kweli. and uh, it's not by mistake that ule mtu anapitia zile shida mm-hmm. it is possible to make it in life. Amen. Na katika hizo struggles yes. mtu anaweza make it na ukue mtu katika society. Amen. Because for now unaona sasa I'm a wife and yes. I'm a mother. Yes. And I'm teaching. Yes, you are teaching. I'm teaching and uh, ile kulelewa pia kwa children. So ukisaidiwa ama ukipitia struggles always learn to give back to the society. Mm-hmm. Because sasa mimi ile kusaidiwa yenye nimesaidiwa. Mm-hmm. I cannot go back and pay those people no. who helped me. No. Mungu amenifikisha hapa so that I can be a help to the others. Indeed. So by that tumeingia kwa a lot of things tunasaidia watu mm-hmm. kama nikwenda children's home tunaenda children's home. Yes. Uh, tuko kwa recently nime join charity band. Uh-huh. Yenye wana, wanasaidia watu ambao hawajiwezi. Yes. That's so good. And then nimekuwa nikipeana pia parts. Uh-huh. Si kwa sababu niko nazo yes. ama niko na nini uh-huh. but just to show gratitude that na naenda na nikipea wasichana huko. Yes, juu hata wewe unajua kukosa ni nini? Unajua naelewa kukosa ni nini? Yes. Naelewa kukosa nje, yani kulala njani kusema nini? Yes. So at least I encourage them na nikienda hizo children's home na waambia I'm a product of a children's home. Mm-hmm. Na nikisimama hapa unless I tell you you won't know. Yes. Na uh, unless I tell you that I'm an, I, I was an orphan because now I'm not an orphan mm-hmm. because now I know that I have God. Yes. In heaven. Amen. Unless I tell you you, you won't know. You, I so won't is it self pity? Yes. Mtu if you can be able to manage. Yes. Mtu awache. Mm-hmm. So that unaweza make it. Wewe ni mwalimu na unapata nanga na watoto wengi. Mm. Wengi wametoka kwa kwa ina wengine wametoka kwa background yenye. Mm. Wewe ulitoka. Mm. How do you handle? Ama unapata nanga nao? Napata na nao sana. Mm-hmm. Especially now in the place that I was, mm-hmm. unajua sasa ile ni secondary na watu ni wakubwa. Yes. And uh, mara nyingi nilikuwa napenda sana ku encourage. Uh-huh. So mtu akikuja at a personal level aniambie there are those who know even my story mm-hmm. although sasa ni ile ya juju yes. mtu anakuja na kuambia au sijui naishi na anti naishi sijui na nani ananitesa naambia but do you know you are only there for four years 
Mm-hmm. After form 4 you will be gone. Yes. After form 4 yani si ukae tu pale ufunge macho yeah. whether anakutesa ama akutesi ufunge macho utoke na education. Na unaona yule mtu mwenye amekubali. Most of them they always come back to tell me that niliwasaidia. Although it was not easy for them. Yes. Na nawaambia it was not also easy for me kufika mahali nimefika. And also something we call patient. Mm-hmm. You can be patient with somebody. Yes. You can be patient even kungoja kitu, mm-hmm. even tu kabisa kabisa. And because when you are patient or when you are waiting for something, kuna struggles hapa katikati. But you have what you are aiming for. Amen. You go for that. You go for it. Yes, no matter what is happening here. Yes. But ni nini unataka? Unaodainiwa lini? Naodainiwa April uh-huh. 22nd. Kukua pasi. Kukua pasta. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. We are so happy to have you. Thank you. Na Mungu akubariki. Sijui kama uko na social media handles zenye ungependa watu wakufuate huko? <laughs> Ni Facebook personal account. Uh-huh. That is Celine Shiko. Uh-huh. Eh. Uko ndiko unafanywa donations za pads tungependa kukudonetia pads ni nini nini tutakupata aje sasa? Um, mtu akitaka kunipata uh-huh. uh, hapo Facebook yes. and then sasa that is when i give now my number aha uh-huh. uh, tunakuwa na group za whatsapp okay that is mtu akitaka kuingia sasa kama hiyo charity band mm-hmm. you be a member mm-hmm. una unasaidia watu and then i have another one ya yeah, visiting children's home uh-huh. tuko na group yes uh, that is next saturday that is on first tunarudi huko kwenye nilikuwa uh-huh. i'll be taking my friends there I've Where? never gone there so tunachanga yes. tuko na mchango kidogo so mtu anatoa tu chenye yako nacho yes. and then sasa tunashikana watu wachache tunanunua vitu tunapeleka tunapiga picha and then tunatumia friends wetu wenye wako mbali You've never been there I've never gone there yani kupeleka yes. vitu oh but tumerudi tena ah kwenda huwa tunaenda ah. ukiwa na graduation so unajua kuna watu tuliacha na wana graduate yes. so we always held our graduations there ah. kama ni twice or thrice per year tunaenda tukiwa wote. Okay. Yeah. We wish you all the best. Thank you. In your ministry, so ukiodeniwa endelea hivyo hivyo. Say you. hi to mtumishi, your husband, yes. na your child. Mm. Tumeshukuru sana. Sawa, you have you really so encouraged us. Thank you so Amen. much. Amen. Amen. I hope you have really been encouraged by the story of Shiko and please be, feel free to go support her in all this ministry that she's doing because she's doing it unto the Lord. Mm. Remember vile amekuambia kwa ile haso yote unafanya hata kama unalipwa 2k jitume jitume kabisa wewe mm. Mungu ndiye kulipa mtu Ka, mm. sawa other than that god bless you thank you for being with us this was dose of hope with me helen mudoni